friends, welcome back. How are you guys doing? I love hearing from you guys down in my comments, you know this, but we are tackling my home, getting my bed made because I find like this is an awesome builder task to get me motivated to tackle something more deep, like a deep cleaning item like my shower or the garage, which we are doing both today. So make sure you stay until the end. But we're going to make this bed up really quick. I love having like a little spray to spray the bed as well when you're not washing it every day because I do wash my laundry, like my bedding at least once a week. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to go into the bathroom and tackle my shower. It is something that I put off because I absolutely hate cleaning showers. It's not my favorite thing to do. And this one is just awkward to clean. I feel like I miss our old shower where the door opened instead of slid like this because you have to like. I don't know. It's weird to do, but I'm going to use some new cleaning products on it to hopefully like make myself feel a little bit better. I love this little tool because it has an extension as well as like you can take it off and it just is a power scrubber to help with the, like, the elbow grease needed to get some of the buildup off. The soft scrub is one of my favorite ways to clean it with. I wish I had like a cleaner that was like purple or something so you could see me cleaning. I know right now it's hard to see because everything's white, but hopefully in the next house, I will have a tile shower. That is one on my bucket list list because we always end up getting this weird insert in every single house that we have because it is cheaper to when they're building these homes. Anyway, I hope if you are new here, you will hit that subscribe button. My channel is all about cleaning, decorating, DIY projects, and overall homemaking with a busy schedule. I do work full time. I have three kids and my husband is military. So we are always busy over here. Sports are about to be starting. All the things school already started. I'm going to be getting their stuff back to school ready. It, they did start about early August, but again, I'm a little behind because I am a full-time working mom. So some of this footage was filmed a while back and I'm just now getting to add it to a video, but that's real life. And that's what my whole channel is about. Let's just jump into today's cleaning. <music> This is what I used on the glass today. It's just this normal glass cleaner. I think this would be better just on windows, not necessarily like it comes in this little spray bottle with this. And I feel like this would be better for like windows. And then this is like what I got. It's on Amazon, it's linked in my storefront, but this is supposed to be like, it suctions up the water while going down, it has a squeegee head. And I think this would be great paired with like a glass cleaner that's meant for hard water stains because we do have hard water because you can still see it on the glass even though I just cleaned. So I'm gonna have to get my BioClean out that I use, clean it with that first, and then use this to squeegee up the excess. I feel like that would be like the perfect combination. But I just wanted to show you this new tool that I got from Amazon. It is a lifesaver, it is so cool. Yeah. 
now that we are done folding all of that laundry, because Lord knows I always have laundry to do, um, I'm going to go down to the kitchen and clean this up. I just got new pots and pans from Walmart. They're the beautiful line by Drew Barrymore. I absolutely love them. They have been working great. You cannot throw these in the dishwasher. So yes, I'm back to hand washing all of my pots and pans, but they have worked so great. Our old ones were sticking. The Teflon was ruined. They just were not doing great. And I think that's partly because I started throwing them in the dishwasher and I didn't really know if they were dishwasher safe. Well, I think I got my answer. Um, so I'm just going to keep hand washing them because I'm telling you what, they have not stuck. I can literally cook anything and they have not gotten gross or stuck or stained or anything so far. Yes, they are white. So they will get burnt on the bottom probably and look disgusting on the bottom, but they're cute right now. So that's all that matters to me. <laughs> And they're really affordable from Walmart. I will have those linked as well for you guys down in my description. If you are interested, I do not make money off of those links. I just wanted to kind of make it easier for you guys to find stuff that you're looking for.
while we tackle all of these dishes, because I did get a little behind on these dishes, uh, let's talk about our highs and lows of the week. My positive to the week is that I feel a little bit better this week. I have more energy. I'm getting a lot done. I went fall decor shopping, so that will be coming to my channel very soon. It's crazy that we're going into fall already. I felt like we just went back to school, which they did at the beginning of August, but it's almost September. And for YouTube, that's late for getting up fall decor. So you, I like to get mine out pretty much mid-August to late August. So you guys have time to go to the store, pick up things that I have if you're interested or whatever you're looking for, decorating ideas and be able to use it in your own home when fall finally hits in September. But I think it's gonna be a little bit late because I have only been posting one video a week and I just have not had the time and I'm also in like this phase where I really want to deep clean my house, but then I also want to put my fall decor up and I don't know. And then we are also trying to put backsplash up in our kitchen here soon. And I'm like, do I want to put up decor to move it around while I'm trying to do the backsplash? And then also my son's seventh birthday is this Friday. Well, this Sunday, but we're throwing him a party on Saturday. And so that's crazy. And I'm like, do I want to have fall decor out for that? Or should I just kind of skip that part? I don't really know. Um, I'm just thinking about all the things I have to get done. And it's just a long, long list that is, it's taking forever. I'm just now getting to the boys room and getting all of their school clothes put away. And I got a new organizer and I'm trying to redo their closet a little bit more to make an easier system because my seven year old keeps wearing my younger son's clothes and it's just a mess. So I'm trying my best here guys. Yesterday I had a terrible migraine. So I guess that's my low. I had such a bad migraine that I had to work through it because I do work 10 hour shifts and I had to just push through. And that was such a challenge today. I still wasn't feeling well. So I ended up having to leave work. And I'm just like, why? Ugh, I'm even making these voiceovers while I have a migraine. But it is what it is. I love getting these videos up for you guys. And I just feel like lately it's been a little bit more of a challenge than it used to be in the past. But I'm getting there. And I hope you guys really enjoy this content and all of the cleaning, organizing, decluttering that's going on in my home right now and soon to be fall seasonal decor. If you guys have not, please let me know down in the comments what your highs and lows are to the week.
while we finish up cleaning up the kitchen, I kind of just wanted to jump on here and talk about my TikTok and my Instagram. If you are not already following me, make sure you do. It's just a cleaning affair like it is here. It is so important if you want to keep up to date on my life and just everyday things over on Instagram, as well as any kind of book recommendations, nutritional, workout motivation, just really anything I post on TikTok and Instagram. It could be hair care. It could be books. It could be my car, like organization, cleaning my car, uh, cleaning just anything in my house, like a small little task. Like that's the best way to keep up to date with me is over on Instagram and TikTok because I do post very regularly. And at this point, honestly, TikTok and Instagram grow a lot faster. I feel like than YouTube. I have been on YouTube for almost three years and I'm still Like, I mean, I'm so appreciative. Like, don't get me wrong. I am so, so appreciative of every single one of you guys that are here and following me and watching my channel, but it has been so hard to grow on YouTube. I feel like we're kind of just stuck in this middle ground. Like I haven't really added a ton of new people over here, like maybe like three to like 15 a video. And that's not great. Uh, I've been striving to hit 20,000 this year and it's not looking like it's going to happen for me unless something like crazy happens. And I'm hoping it does because I would love to have more people over here and get to meet more people. I love networking and I love getting to meet people all over the world. It's why I joined the military. I love traveling. I love just seeing everything. And so when I get more and more people over here and I don't know, YouTube has always just been like a home to me. Like I felt like it's my first love. I don't love doing the other things, but I also like grow a lot faster and they're just easier to edit. To be honest, YouTube takes me hours and hours to do. And I feel like the payoff anymore has been really slow and I don't want to feel that way and I don't want to be burnt out. But that's why I'm down to one video a week because even when I was posting two times a week, I still wasn't growing like I thought I would. And I know it's a challenge and a lot of people that don't do social media wouldn't understand how hard it is actually to do social media. And it's a, it is, it's a lot, but I do love posting over here. It's just like one of my favorite things to do and I hope to continue doing it. Would lie to you, didn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the way.
I've lied to you Doesn't matter what I do She's got a hold on me you are looking for some good bug catchers i have been using these for a while now i got them last summer and they are truly the best i have four of them in my house and they all are better like they look like this or worse and they it has helped so much with not having flies and gnats all throughout my house truly amazing i'm just going to replace these they just pop off and you throw this little piece away and they come with refill packs so you don't have to keep buying the plugs but you can buy the refills of these and I'm gonna just throw this away and replace it with a new one. But I have about four of these, so I'm just gonna do that really quick.
We're going to finish tackling this living room and then over in my husband's office before tomorrow, we're going to tackle the biggest mess of all, which is my garage. You're just going to see how bad it's gotten. We had so many donates because I've been decluttering like crazy and trash items and just all the things. So if you're looking for some garage cleaning motivation with a lot of decluttering and organizing, wait until the end for that. Real life is moving in a couch and finding a rotten apple. Yeah, gotta love it. I have two small children that are six and four right now. And oh, I'm telling you what, sometimes, and I know it was my four-year-old because he is the one that would do something like that. I'm just like, really? Thank God we didn't have bugs. Like, ooh, thank God. But still, like, I don't move this couch enough. So I'm glad I finally did. Want the mood to be right, keeping it low in the night, yeah. So long since I get a glimpse of a light, 
It's blood, bring out my eyes Oh, oh, we should open up our window Oh, oh, I can't see clear Oh, oh, at least I know how to window To window Cause it's just my habits I can't describe it Until the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Oh, oh, oh tell me how do I get inside Oh, oh, open up your mind Oh, oh, in this I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my habit I can't describe it
gonna finish up sweeping and then mop these <laughs> floors I need to get more mats like this because you can see we only had four and I need at least two more or at least one more to go horizontally right here and I definitely haven't used my peloton as much as I used to I love just walking on my treadmill now and so I do have to gain the motivation to actually get on my Peloton. <laughs> um, but we're just going to finish up in the garage right here for the rest of the video. We are almost done. It's going to take a few more minutes and finally my garage will be clean. I know if most of us that have garages understand the struggle of keeping it clean, there were spiders everywhere. So my husband finally sprayed and thank God, because I hated working out here and just seeing all the cobwebs and the spider webs. And then I was going to take out some of the donate stuff and I found dead rats. Yeah. I about died. I was freaking out and I wanted to keep the one rug, but I ended up having to toss it because there was a dead rat in it. Like, ooh, I know that's a real life moment, but hey, I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. I kind of keep it real on my channel. My, the messes in my house are very real and things that I kind of let get, things get out of control. And that's why I created my channel was to help maintain that and help other parents who struggle like I do. So don't ever think that I'm doing better or I have more motivation because there are days that I do not. So just appreciate you guys being here. And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. So you are notified and then head over to my Instagram and TikTok and follow me. It means the world to me that you guys are here and I'll see you guys back next time. Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere Trapped, wanna be done